Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I'm very happy to have you here. I wish you all happy holidays and a beautiful, joyful year ahead. Today we are doing a reading for Capricorn for the first half of January. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through, what do we need to know, what's coming your way, what's happening for you in that period of time. Do remember that not all messages will be for every Capricorn, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and start messages for Capricorn, first half of January. What is coming through here? What messages do we have? Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, Justice, Eight of Swords. All right, let's go ahead and clarify your cards and see what these messages are. We're going to start with Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, what is this about? For my Capricorns. Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. <laughs> the Sun. Six of Cups. All right, what's happening here? Um, I do feel that for some of you Capricorns, the matters of the heart have been on your mind for a while. I do feel like some of you have been uh, thinking about Leo. I do um, feel strongly that um, this is the person from your past. So somebody who might have put you on pause, somebody who might have walked away from your life or you walked away from this person, something that... Um, um, is has ended at some point or was put on hold. I do feel like there is a reconciliation here or at least a reconciliation offer. I think at some point this person uh, was uh, not treating this relationship uh, as you wish them uh, you wish them to and I feel like this time they're actually coming with a big huge offer of love. So I do feel that uh, this is a genuine offer. This is definitely an offer of love. This is a definitely an offer of a long-term relationship here. You seem to be a little bit defensive. You seem a little bit defensive here. You might have been hurt in the past by this person, but I do feel like you will consider it. There is a, a possibility of a happiness here. The sun is the happiest card in, in the deck. So there is definitely a possibility of you two to be happy in the future, but it is your choice. I do feel this person will be coming with a huge love offer to you, an offer of reconciliation. This is what I see. This is somebody you've been dreaming about. This is not somebody that you'd never want to see again. This is definitely a person that you want to reconcile with. These are the messages I have here. I could be dealing with a Leo, somebody with very strong Leo placements. Let's go ahead, Capricorn, and clarify the eight of cups for you. Clarify the eight of cups. Ace of wands. And Empress. Judgment. And six of wands. Okay, so Capricorn, some of you are leaving a situation that is uh, no longer serve you. Some of you are leaving some emotional connection. This could have been a romantic connection that uh, was very passionate, very passion based, but uh, did not offer you the love that you deserve. I feel like uh, you are finally embracing your power as an empress here and uh, you're walking away from it. This is going to be a victory. You are freeing yourself from something that was um, a little bit toxic here. So for those of you who have been in a, some sort of toxic connection here, you are leaving it behind. You're walking away from it. This is judgment. This is celebration. This is enlightenment here. And uh, you're definitely embracing your power as an empress. An empress is somebody who embraces the power of all four queens. Doesn't have to be female. Could be male or female here. But definitely somebody who's very strong, who's very self-confident, who knows what he or she wants and goes for it. This is going to be a win. You will celebrate here. 
So if you were stuck in some sort of connection that uh, was more passion based than anything else, you're walking away from it. And it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a celebration for you. A big celebration. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go ahead and clarify Capricorn this Seven of Swords for you. What is this Seven of Swords for my Capricorn? Seven of Swords. Lord. Two of Swords. and Queen of Pentacles. All right. Capricorn, what I feel here is that uh, there's definitely some cycle in your life that has ended. Something that has ended for you, this could be, it could have been a relationship that was, um, uh, had some sort of uh, financial connection. So you could have been dependent on the, on this other person financially. I feel like uh, you're finally moving away. You're uh, almost kind of sneaking away from it. It is possible that the other person doesn't necessarily want to let you go. So you actually need to sneak away from it quietly. I, I believe that this connection could have had uh, some fights, arguments here. And uh, you're deciding to leave quietly. You don't want to involve yourself in that conflict anymore. You are a little indecisive as to where to go. I feel like you are looking to the new horizons and you are not really sure what is waiting for you there. But the cycle is over and you are um, deciding to leave. Not necessarily knowing where to go, maybe being a little bit blindfolded here as to what is next for you. But you are moving away. The world is, off is offering you a new cycle in life. This could be also that you are deciding to travel. You could be moving out from, if you live with this person together, you definitely could be moving away from this person. You could be even changing a location to move far from this person. You could be deciding to leave the state, to leave the country here even, and go for long-term travel or relocate. And I do feel like through this process, you will find finances to support this move, to support this leave. This could have been something that was your worry. Maybe you were worried because uh, you have joined finances with this person for a long time. I do feel that you will find the financial support and financial uh, foundation to be able to move away from this. This is what I see. Let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Cups for you. What's the Knight of Cups here for Capricorn? Knight of Cups. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Beautiful. Capricorn, what I see here, there is definitely a shake-up in your romantic love life. There is a sudden change here. And this tower is probably one of my favorite towers out of all. Um, decks that I've seen, this is a transformational tower. This is not the more traditional tower when people are falling out of the tower that is on fire. This is the tower of the butterflies. So absolutely a transformation and a transformation in your romantic love life. I do feel that uh, you will be having a lot of options here. You will have a lot of options. Uh, there will be a lot of people that will be paying attention to you after you go through this transformation. After you leave what no longer serves you, you go through this transformation. There could be a transformation of uh, outside events for you here as well. You could be definitely uh, changing the, your physical location where you are. And I do feel that there will be people coming with the love offers to you. And not just one person. Very strong energy of a possible divine union coming your way. But uh, you, in this uh, first half of January, you will be a little indecisive. You will be a little unsure. This could be because of the past situation. You're not sure maybe even that you are ready for the new union here. But there is somebody moving into your energy. Very strong energy of a Gemini here. So there could be a Gemini here or Scorpio and Aries. So those are the signs that are standing out to me the strongest here. But I do feel that there could be more than one person. Definitely more than one person coming in to offer you a new love. That's what I see. Capricorn, let's go ahead and clarify this justice for you. 
justice. What is this justice? Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. <laughs> and two of pentacles right so definitely you need to make some uh, a decision here you make some uh, you need to make some decision uh, as far as um, romantic partners <laughs> this is what i see here i do feel that you might be even dating during this uh, first half of january you might be juggling a couple of people here i do feel like you will be busy i do think that you will be focusing on uh, f several people here not just one and uh, it seems to me like you will make the just cho choice in the end. The, the, what is standing out strongly here that the choice is yours. You are the one to make the choice to make a decision who you want to be uh, seen in the future, who you want to build the future with. Um, I do feel that uh, you give out very strong vibe of being very independent and stable. You know exactly what you want here. I do feel that your finances during this uh, period of time will be doing well as well. But you might be juggling to people here. You might be juggling to people here. You might be thinking who is the right person for you. And I do feel in the end you will make the right choice for you. Putting yourself first. That's what I see. So far we're just getting love messages for you Capricorn. What else? What is this Eight of Swords here for, for my Capricorn? What is this Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords for my Capricorn. What is this about? Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Fool. Wow. It seems to me like you just want to talk about the same story. This is definitely for one group of Capricorn, this whole reading. I do feel like you felt a little imprisoned in a previous uh, love connection that you had. You could have been even married to this person. You could have been, um, you could have had a family with this person. You could have a family in this person. But I do feel that you felt imprisoned. And in this period of time, this first half of January, you're freeing yourself. You're letting your hair down, you're deciding, you're making the decision, you're taking a leap of faith, and you're starting a new cycle. I do feel that you're separating your finances for sure. You're going to be working on your own finances here. You could be um, getting divorced here and separating your half and putting it into some new business for yourself. But you're definitely starting a new cycle. This imprisonment mode here, this was something to do with uh, the connection that was a little toxic here. But you could have even had family with this person. I do feel you're freeing yourself. You're definitely freeing yourself. And it seems to me like you will feel like you dropped the burden here. You will definitely be feeling more of yourself. More independent here. And uh, you will be fine with your finances too. New leap of faith. Taking a little bit of a risk here. That will pay off. Of course, this is for those of you that this um, family connection did not work out. Right? Something that was a little toxic, something that uh, gives a karmic vibes here. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards for you and see if we can get some different messages here. If there's anything else we need to know, maybe for a different group of Capricorns. I had a little bit of different message in the beginning here for some of you. All right, what's happening? Yeah, I do feel like this is the time for you to embrace your unique self. I do feel like this is the time for you to free yourself, to find your own inner peace. You are very strong. You're very strong to leave this, something that has been going on for a while now, something that could have been a very long-term relationship here. You have the strength to leave it if, that's, uh, if it's not working anymore. And uh, you will be taking a new direction, a new a journey in life. Like I said, you could be definitely taking a trip or moving away, but it's going to bring you peace. 
you embracing your uniqueness, you embracing yourself, putting yourself first, embracing the energy of an empress here is going to bring you peace and serenity. It's going to bring you success. This is what I see, Capricorn. This is the messages they needed to come through today. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. And I do hope to hear from you again in the comments. Let me know if this resonates with you at all. Bye for now.